Good day grade 10s. In this lesson we are going to learn how to use the wave equation. So once again we are going to join Mr. Fullerton as he teaches us the ins and outs. I'm Mr. Fullerton and today I'd like to talk to you about the wave equation. Our objectives are going to be to calculate period, frequency and wavelength and then understand the Let's try another one. 
if the amplitude of the wave is increased, the frequency of the wave will decrease, increase, or remain the same. Well, if you recall, we don't have any relationship between amplitude and frequency. So, if amplitude goes up, it doesn't do a thing to the frequency. The amplitude is independent of frequency, so the frequency will three, remain the same. An electromagnetic wave traveling through a vacuum has a wavelength of 1.5 times 10 to the minus 1 meters. What is the period of this electromagnetic wave? All right. Well, we know that it has a wavelength, lambda, of 1.5 times 10 to the minus 1 meters. And since it's an electromagnetic wave traveling through a vacuum, we know its velocity is that constant C, or 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. We need to find period. Well, the wave equation says velocity is equal to frequency times wavelength, but that doesn't mean period is 1 over frequency, or frequency is 1 over period. Therefore, we could write this as velocity equals wavelength over period. If we rearrange this now for period, period is going to equal wavelength over velocity, or 1.5 times 10 to the minus 1 meters over 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And we'll be left with a period of 5 times 10 to the minus 10 seconds. Add a couple more steps in that problem, so you really have to know that relationship between frequency and period pretty well in order to be able to convert the two. Frequency is 1 over period, and period is 1 over frequency. Let's try one more. A surfacing blue whale produces water wave, water wave crests having an amplitude of 1.2 meters every 0.4 seconds. If the water wave travels at 4.5 meters per second, what is the wavelength? Well, in this case, we know the velocity of the wave. We know the period of the wave. We're looking for wavelength. Velocity equals frequency times wavelength, or wavelength period at 0.4 seconds. So if you remember, 1 over frequency equals period, we can say wavelength equals velocity times period, or 4.5 meters per second, times our period of 0 0.4 seconds gives us a wavelength of 1.8 meters. Hopefully that gets you started with the wave equation and the relationship between frequency, period, wavelength, and wave velocity. If you need more help or looking for more information, check out aplusphysics.com. Thanks, and make it a great day. Right, grade tens, you can agree that Mr. Fullerton totally explained how to use the wave equation as well as the velocity equation. Please practice these with the examples at the end of the section. Thank you.